what is immunity immunity refers to the resistance of the body to pathogens and their toxic products what do you mean by antigen and what do you mean by antibodies what is antigen antigen is the substance that can stimulate the immune response it can be any substance either bacteria toxin or any foreign material antibodies these are gamma globulins produced in response to antigenic stimulation so once the antigen enter inside our body this will stimulate the immune response and according to specific immune response the antibodies will be released types of immunity there are two types of immunity innate immunity and acquired immunity innate immunity it is the inborn it's a non specific type of immunity and these are also known as dumb bombs whereas the acquired immunity this form after attack by organism this is highly specific against the virus bacteria toxins or foreign bodies and these are called as smart bombs there are two types of acquired immunities active and passive inside both active and passive acquired immunity for the classified as natural or artificial immunities basically there are two types of immunities innate immunity and second one acquired immunity so first one innate immunity which things we have to include in the innate immunity mechanical barriers skin and mucosa surface secretions these include sebaceous gland saliva gastric juice tears etc humoral substances for example lysosome basic polypeptides complement system and interferons etc cellular innate immunity includes the phagocytes the cells which perform the function of phagocytosis natural killer cells and eosinophils so all these take part in the innate type of immunity first line of defense these are the tissue macrophages second line of defense this includes the invasion by neutrophils third line of defense invasion of monocyte to form the macrophages and fourth line of defense it increase the production of neutrophils and monocytes once our body have detected different types of foreign materials after that these four lines of defense mechanism will start before we are proceeding further towards the acquired immunity we must have to clear the concept of negative phase latent period and secondary response so for example the day infection occur we consider as zero day immunity develop around five day so this zero day to five day five days it will take to develop the immunity and that is the first response that means the immunity has been developed and whatever the immune cells are generated inside our body they are going to attack and kill the bacteria or virus and this response it is known as first response and after the end of 10 days the infection becomes cleared completely from the body so that is the first response now here are the two concept it takes 5 days to develop the immunity so 0 days to 5 days it will take to develop the immunity so that is known as latent period and during this 0 to 5 days there isn't any type of immunity present in the patients or subjects body so this phase of no immunity it is known as negative phase for example after 10 days the infection has been cured but the same virus or the bacteria if attack again after 6 month then again the same cells which are produced before the first response are already present and they are going to attack the virus again but the response is more enhanced so this response it is known as secondary response so here the latent period negative phase and secondary response is present in the acquired type of immunity now we are going through the acquired immunity acquired immunity are of two types active immunity and passive immunity in the active immunity antibody production by own immune system in the passive immunity received passively negative phase is present in active immunity here no negative phase latent period is present which is around 4 days to 4 weeks in the active immunity 
but in passive immunity no latent period secondary response is more enhanced and present in active immunity but no immunological memory so no re secondary response in the passive immunity duration it is long lasting but in case of passive immunity duration is short lasting it is more effective but here the passive immunity is less effective active immunity is not applicable in immune deficient individual whereas passive immunity is applicable in immune deficient individual there are two types of active and passive immunity natural and artificial natural active immunity the example is direct infection with the organism artificial active immunity through the vaccination natural passive immunity from mother to her baby once the baby has been delivered artificial passive immunity these are the commercial antibody preparations which directly given to the patients so here one thing i have to tell you that uh, in the severe covid infections the directly antibodies has been given to the patients so this comes under the artificial passive immunity now the types of immune responses there are two major types of immune responses first one humoral or antibody mediated and second one cell mediated immune response we are going through each and every responses in detail step by step so first humoral immune response these are antibody mediated immune responses plasma cells which are type of b lymphocytes release the antibodies there are five different types of antibodies igg iga igm ige and igd out of this igm it is the largest antibodies in the size now steps of immune responses antigen processing and presentation recognition of antigen by lymphocytes lymphocyte activation production of antibodies inactivation or attack phase through direct attack or attack through the complement system so these are different steps of humoral immune response we will see later on each step in detail now the second one it is the cell mediated immune response it is mediated by the t lymphocytes steps of immune response specifically cell mediated immune response antigen processing and presentation recognition of antigen by lymphocytes t lymphocyte differentiation or the activation of t lymphocytes and the last one it is the attack phase here in the attack phase for example cytotoxic t cell releases the perforin type of chemical material which makes pores on the cell membrane of the cell so that there will be large amount of ions and water enter or influx of ion and water occurs inside the cell after some time the cell will swell and burst so that is the cell mediated immune response now we are going through humoral and cell mediated immune response step by step in detail the first step it is the antigen processing and presentation to the immunocompetent cell for example here it is the antigen and this one it is the macrophage so macrophage is the first cell which encounter the antigen endocytosis of the antigen takes place the macrophage will process the antigen and it will release the antigen inside the body so these antigens it is known as processed antigen that is the first step both in the humoral and cell mediated type of immune response now the second step recognition of processed antigen by lymphocytes so in this process antigen we already saw how the process antigens has been released so this processed antigen comes in contact with b lymphocyte and t lymphocytes here one concept i have to clear that lymphocyte in the initial stage of formation all are present in the bone marrow but the maturation of lymphocyte which takes place in the bone marrow these are known as b lymphocyte and for the maturation the lymphocyte will migrate from the bone marrow to the thymus gland these are known as t lymphocytes so this processed antigen here comes in contact with the b lymphocyte and t lymphocyte and once the process antigen comes in contact with this b and t lymphocyte this becomes sensitized b cell and sensitized t cell next this both the sensitized b and t cell converted to blast cell these are blast b cell and this one blast t cell 
third step it is the activation of lymphocytes these are known as blast transformation so here the blast b cell and blast t cell will become differentiate into different type of cells so blast b cell differentiate into memory b cell and plasma cell and specifically this plasma cell releases the different types of antibodies all right so blast b cell differentiate into memory b cell and plasma cell this comes under the humoral type of immune response now the blast t cell differentiate into four different type of cells helper t cell memory t cell suppressor t cell killer or cytotoxic t cell so this comes under the cell mediated type of immune response in the earlier steps both in the cell mediated and humoral immune response remains the same but here specifically t lymphocyte takes part in the cell mediated type of immune response and uh, b lymphocyte takes part in the humoral type of immune response if you like this presentation please try to share it with your batch group friends and colleague